of the 20th century, Adolf Hitler is the only one he mentioned more than twice. I'll, because, and because I can't do them all, though, believe me, I will if you press me. I'll just take the Fuhrer. My former colleagues and ancestors at the New School produced a very comprehensive edition of Mein Kampf, the hard book to get. They wanted, it, they wanted everyone to read it, and I have several copies of the edition they brought out in 1940. Just slightly too late, actually, in the hope of warning people. <coughs> I think it's the, at the closing pages of chapter two that Adolf Hitler says that his work, his work against the Jews is done on the direct instruction and inspiration of Almighty God. Uh, it's certainly a trope that's repeated throughout the book. If you, and there was no reason for someone brought up in Catholic Austria, Bavaria, not to think that. Centuries of Christian instruction in the poisonous nature of, uh, of the Jewish people, the verminous character of the Jewish people. An uncontroversial remark. The Vatican at that point was willing to ban books by Evelyn Waugh and Graham Greene. Say nothing, books about evolution and the Big Bang. They were invited to ban Mein Kampf, did they? No, they didn't. Instead, the Vatican made its first ever political treaty with, uh, with the Third Reich exchanging complete control over education on their part for complete control over the rest of the state by the Nazi party. What did it say on the belt buckle of every single member of the Nazi army? What did it say? Gott mit uns. Do you want me to translate? It says God on our side in German. If you took your oath to the Fuhrer, how did it have to begin? I swear in the name of Almighty God, my undying fealty to Adolf Hitler. Surely I won't take it from you. I'm sorry. I don't want to spoil a relatively friendly evening either. Don't you dare bring this up again. I can take a lot. <laughs> Read any history of fascism in the 20th century and take out the word fascist from any history that's remotely objective, including much written by Christian historians, and just put in instead of the word fascist, extreme Catholic. You don't need to change another word. To say this was secular is just getting history completely wrong. To say it's atheist is a deliberate, conscious insult, and I won't have it. So, now you know how rude I can be. 